Hi, y'all. Oh, excuse me. I have something in my nose. Um. <laughs> okay, hi, everyone. My name is Ijama. Um, welcome to the channel underscore Ijama's channel. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and turn on your notification to be notified when I upload. So, I know y'all already seen the title and already know that, oh, okay, she's about to really talk about herself, what's going on, you know. But, yeah, um, so, the question is, I feel like I need to talk to y'all about this because there's different ways that other people, um, deal with situations like this um so the question today is how did i deal with depression with my baby's father um give me a second let me get water because i can't tell y'all why but i don't know i'm a little bit scared to tell y'all why i always need water next to me wow that's deep right there that right there is deep but yes, um, give me a minute. Let me go grab some water so I can have it on the side here with me while I talk to you guys. Okay. Okay. Um, I have my water. Let me drink it because I need to drink it right now. And I only drink cold water. I don't drink warm water. Okay, I feel better. Um, I feel really good. Mm. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> um, so yes, how did I deal with depression with my baby's father, baby daddy, whatever you want to call it? They're still the same thing. Um, to be honest, to be honest, I didn't really deal with it. Like, I basically just let everything hit me. At the same time you know and I didn't even know that it was happening to me at that time like because in a relationship I was basically more of like the mother in the relationship and I don't want it to be like that I don't want it to be like that I just want to have it 50 50 both of us on the same page you know but it wasn't like that you know for me I felt like he was just having fun in the relationship just because he already knows the type of person I am. Like, I'm not going to bash him out here or anything, but this is just how I felt at that time in our relationship. We are still in a relationship, but I just feel like, oh, excuse me. Hmm. <laughs> oh, my God. That's not funny. But um, what was I saying? Yes, um, I'm just going to tell y'all, like, how it is when we was in a relationship. Like, he was basically just having fun, and I was just a mother in a relationship, trying to make things right, straight for both of us, you know, in order for our kids to have something good in their life, you know. But, yeah, so I didn't really deal with it, like, I just, I started um, dealing with depression after everything had already happened to me. And it was not easy. That shit was hard. And I'm still dealing with it at this time because, like, I'm not the same person I used to be in the past that I am right now. I don't know if y'all can really tell, but I'm not that person anymore. Like, I'm still me. It's just, like, it's different now. And I wish that can change because I want it to change. Like, I, I don't want to be stuttering, um, not having the right words to say, you know. So, yeah, it's sad that I had to go through that by myself. And he was not there for me. It's sad. And, you know, and then at some point, like... At some point, like, I started playing the same games that he was playing with me. 
I only did it once, y'all, but I promise y'all I did not like it because I called him back after that. I was like, hey, can you come back? Can you come home? Blah, 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 all that stuff. But, you know, I also entertained it. But then again, like, that's not the type of person I am. And I actually felt bad about it. But, like I said, there's different ways people deal with depression. Like, you know... I don't have anybody. I just have me and my two kids. That's the only person I have. And I'm not really close to my families like that. Just because they chose sides, I guess. Like, just because my life is not good in the way that it should be for them. They decided to, like, put me in a side because of that. But... Like, it still hurts me, but then again, like, I don't really care because I know that I'm not the one I wrong here. Like, I was good to them, you know, and I guess they just used whatever I told them against me, and that's some, that's some weak-ass shit right there, and I just feel like they were bullying me at that time, like. Even when I was trying to let them know that. Whew, even when I was trying to let them know that this is how I was feeling. You know, and they didn't care about my feelings. So, so I basically just stayed away from them. I decided to stay away from them. Just to have my own peace in my life. You know, so yeah. Um, but yeah, uh, I'm still dealing with it because I can't even talk about it because when I start talking about it, like, I would want to cry, shed tears and everything, but I don't want to do that. Like, it hurts to not have the family that you had growing up next to you till now. It really hurts. Oh my god, I don't want to cry. I just have to swallow that shit. I have to swallow it. Put my pride to the side and just take that shit. But yes, um, depression. So yeah, y'all, that's basically how I dealt with my depression. Um, I just had to deal with it, like. Like, I was basically fighting for something that didn't didn't want me, if that makes sense. I was basically fighting for something that was not for me, even though that I thought it was for me. And I still think it was for me. It's just the other person. Like, he made it look as if, like, I'm a lunatic, I'm crazy. I'm insane, but I'm not. Like, I know myself. I'm not insane. I'm not crazy. <sighs> but, yeah. Um, so, yeah, that's how I dealt with my depression. And if any of y'all out there facing what I'm facing, depression, or still facing it, just, you know, look at the bright side, you know, in your life. Like, even though it's not working the way you want it to work, just look at what you have already accomplished, you know, and the person you are today. So just look at the bright side, basically, um, because it don't stay like that forever, you know? So yeah, that's all I can really say. Just keep pushing, um, take it step by step, don't rush it, like, and don't be scared because then that's like really gonna um, bring back like how you were in that time mm -hmm. so yeah
I think I am done for today. Um, thank you so much for tuning in to this video. I really hope that this helped you understand the meaning of depression. Like most people don't even know that it's happening at that time till afterwards. So yeah, so like don't force it. That's what I had to learn the hard way. Like don't force it. Like just let it come to you. You know, even though like you know yourself and your you know your heart, like just I don't know, but just let it come to you. And if you feel like you have to let it go, go ahead and let it go because only you know you. You know, you and your partner because you have been with them for how many months, years. You know, so only you know only you know you and your partner. So yeah. Um you know, he made me look like I was the crazy one in the relationship, but I wasn't. Like I was trying to make things right for him in his own life, in his own situation that he has going on. And then me as well, you know. Cause he also knew my situation. But I guess <sighs> it's crazy the fact that I'm talking about it because he already ex I'm talking about it. <laughs> oh Lord Jesus. I'm talking so fast but I need to calm down and slow down. But yes, um it's crazy the fact that I'm talking about this right now because me or me and him already talked about it. But then again I just feel like it don't make no sense to me. Like, it really doesn't make any sense because it just doesn't. Um, I'm not going to go into details with it right now, but when the time comes, I promise y'all I will definitely go into details with it with y'all. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, I just wanted to say that I felt like he was jealous the fact that I found a way to like improve my life situation and you know he basically just turned up on me like turned against me like I just felt like he was jealous of me but yes That's not cool. Like, I loved you. And I still love you. You know? Like, you were my best friend in everything. I'm a good person. I have a good heart. You know, I go out. I go, excuse me. I go all out for somebody that I won't even go all out for me. And then it really took a lot of me, like, and he was not trying to make things right. You know, like, everything I said to him, he didn't take accountability of into his hands to change the situation. He just kept letting the same thing happen all over and all over and all over again. Like, why? Like, I'm trying to give you something that no female ever gave you, but talk shit about you, basically. You know? I was trying to be that woman that you've never had before. Don't give you anything that you want. Love, happiness, family, love all around, you know. I did all that for him. Like, I even showed it out to the public, social media. I didn't care about how anybody was feeling. I didn't even care about my own family's feelings because this, I expect you to, like, accept the person that I bring to you and show you that I want to be with, you know. Even though, like, the... 
relationship is not going in the right direction. Like, I just wanted you to believe in me that I can make make this person change, change this person in the way that is good. You know. To be honest, I don't really have nothing to say. I don't even know if I'm gonna add this in my other video, but we'll see. We'll see. But yeah, and I just think it's not cool. And you know, his friends, like the friends that he had while we was dating were not his friends. Like they were trying to get to me. Get with me. Not even get to me. Get with me. And he's dumbass. I don't know. I feel like, and then again, I feel like at some point he didn't even care anymore if they did get with me. Like, because he be letting a lot of people get in his fucking head. And that's not cool. You're supposed to be your own person. Your own hero. You know? But yeah. He's fucked up in the head. And I really wish and hope that he will get the help that he needs. Don't get me wrong for talking in this type of way and manner. That's just how I talk. To make my... Um, to make my point clear, yes, to make my point clear, 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 but yes, um, so how are you guys liking this natural look on me? I love it, I think I love it, it's pretty, it's really on me, this is me, this is literally me, y'all. And I love it. Like, look at the hair. Like, it, I know. Ugh. I love being black. <laughs> I can't believe I just said that. But true facts. I love being black. Any cut we want to be, we be vibing. Crazy bitch, but then the lot to get sideways. But yes, um, you're not supposed to be going against your partner. You're supposed to be on the same page with them. That's how the relationship works. And then he gets mad about me when I bring up his mom and how she trained him in everything. Like, even if your mama didn't teach you all that stuff, like... You already post them now. I don't understand how men can be like. They're talking about, oh, I have fun. And then they want to bring it back again. It's like, oh, man, I miss my days when I used to be out there chilling, having fun. Fucking bitches left to right. Not even left to right. Left and right. Like, ugh. <laughs> but yeah it's just crazy like why would you be happy talking about that kind of stuff on how you was chilling doing all that craziness in your life like why would you I'm trying to find the right words to like really say it but I just I can't Ugh, I need to... Bro, this bra is not it. But what is that word I'm looking for? <clears throat> anyway, I can't find the words to say, but I'm just going to say it like this. Like, why would you be proud? <laughs> That's the word. Why would you be proud to even say say that this is how you were in the past you was having fun literally men be like that they be like proud as fuck just to say shit like that like do you want to get smacked see that's how y'all get smacked at the end of the day like are you trying to get smacked do you want to get smacked but yes um um
But I cannot believe Sexy Red is pregnant. No, for real. I didn't. I'm not saying that that she couldn't have a baby, but the fact that she's even pregnant. Don't even try to put words in my mouth, y'all. Because I know y'all going to be like, girl, why would you even say that about her? She's not ugly. She's pretty. She is definitely pretty. But it's just the fact that someone, I didn't think that she would get pregnant. Like, she's all about getting money, blah, blah, blah. You know, for her to get pregnant. Anyways, yeah. We're not going to talk about Sexy Red because I love her. That's my bitch. I like her. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm going to end this video here and edit, I guess. But thank you so much for tuning in to this sit down talk. Well, it's not really a style. It's just me doing this video for y'all to understand my own point of view in my situation like him he can even explain himself if he wants to because i feel like me and him really needs to talk about it more because what he told me i don't feel that way like swear to god i don't feel that way but yes i don't feel that way i feel like he was only saying it just to cover himself up. But I don't feel that way. I know him. Literally, I know this man. Like, the back of my hand. And for him to, like, really say that, like, I don't believe you. I don't believe you. But anyways, he did me bogus. Like, he had bitches chasing him, texting him. Not even chasing him. Even if they were chasing him, he could have, like, told them what it is. Like, in, for me, in my, in our, in our relationship, I want to have, like, a conversation. I want us to be able to talk about it, about the situation, the problem, the issue. Like, I want us to be able to talk about shit like that. Instead of you just going around it, like, and then when things goes left, you're going to be like, oh, I told you so. No, motherfucker, you ain't tell me shit. You ain't tell me shit. I know y'all want to see me talk more, but goddamn bitch, I need to go. What the fuck? Oh, shit. All right. I'm done this time around. I ain't coming back to this camera because if I sit here, I'm going to sit here till motherfucking six. But no, we're not going to do that. But thank you guys so much. I definitely did good in this video. The last video I did, I was nervous. See, this is what I'm talking about. I need to hurry up and get the fuck out of this camera and end this motherfucking video. <laughs> I'm just happy, y'all. I can't help it. This is me. This is all me. This is all me. This is me. E5 to bless it. Each of my... Oh, yes. This is all me, okay? But yes. I'm checking if my daughter is moving because she keeps moving. She keeps moving. She's taking a nap, so I don't want to disturb her or wake her up. But yes, um, yeah, we're gonna end this video here because if I stay here, I'm gonna be here forever. And I don't want that. Like, I'm just happy. <sighs> I'm just happy that I'm able to really do this because, hmm, I actually like the fact that it's quiet here and my kids are not disturbing me. Don't get me wrong. I love when they're around me and stuff, but I feel like it's only safe when I'm doing like vlogs and stuff like that. But when I'm doing like a sit down talk with just me and y'all, like, I feel
feel like I deserve that at least. You know? So I kind of do like that. It's like that. It's quiet and I'm able to talk to you guys and y'all can really hear me. So yeah. Um, I'm done. I don't have anything else to say. Thank you so much. Thank you for watching again. Um, my name is Ijoma. And I will see you guys on my next video. Thank you so much. And I pray, whoever it is that's watching this video, that this um, talk helped you understand the real meaning of depression. Bye. <laughs>